I don't know who my father is. I had four paternity tests when I was a kid, and they were all negative. The way that this is different from other past relationships is you don't have a chance to get to know the person before you commit to the person. So everything was completely backwards. One of my biggest fears is not having like grandparents, you know, for my kids. And obviously I wanted to marry someone with like a really great family. So I can be part of it. <laughs> we're married. Let's get all of these conversations out of the way. The only way it's gonna work is if we're totally open and honest. I'm trying not to be, but I try, you know, I try to like, I don't know, but I'm so embarrassed of my past. Those conversations and what I usually learn about someone over time was brought to the surface right away. <sighs> this is gonna be so hard for me. I think a really important moment was when Doug went back to Jamie's life to see how she was raised and the struggles that she had had. Doug is the type of guy who makes a joke out of everything. That's how he's learned to manage the world around him. And at that very moment, that's not what Jamie needed. This is so tough for me. Jamie wanted someone who understood the gravitas in which she grew up. I would never judge somebody on their past, good or bad. But it's always nice to see kind of, you know, what made somebody, where somebody grew up. And Doug really rose to the occasion and showed Jamie that he could be really kind and supportive too. And that's exactly what Jamie needed.